What is going on guys and girls in my previous video I showed you how to use the word rocket SEO template and we were able to write an SEO optimized article in less than five minutes. In today's video I'll be doing a variation of using the SEO template but I'll be combining word rocket with new and writer. New and writer is a content optimization tool essentially it will give you content recommendation ideas in which you can follow to improve and optimize your content. Now if you want to check this out for yourself I will leave a link for a new and writer in the description below today's video they usually do have a lifetime deal available on AppSumo. so in this method i'll be reverse engineering so what i did was i first went ahead and copied over all of the terms in headings and the terms in articles from new and writer so i went ahead and copied over those terms so just copy list of visible terms and then i pasted that into the insert uh the target keyword section so all we did was we copied it over and then we pasted it in here Right. So all of the keywords have been added in. And then what I did was I also did the same thing for the blog post outline. So if we scroll down here and we head over to outline, I just went ahead and I simply manually copied and paste these headlines because these are the top rank headlines for this specific um, keyword and this specific topic. Right. So once I got that, then I went ahead and I pasted it into the insert any blog post outline section. Boom. And it's in there. And then what I can also do is I can also insert any internal links that I'd like to insert. So I'm just going to enter the main URL for this website for the editorial style guide. I'll tell it to write in a professional, easy to read. Uh, we can then go ahead and start writing the content. But of course, let's go ahead and enter the topic, which is law schools in Georgia. So essentially, we just want to see if we're able to get better outputs by following this method or if we can just go ahead and generate the content using the SEO uh, template without doing any of these pre-filling of these um, target keywords compared to if we were to actually include the target keywords and the outlines, we just want to see which method would actually give us the better content. Now everything is set up. We're going to go ahead and click generate. If you're using word rocket and for some reason it's not working, I want you guys to double check your open AI account starting on March 25th, which is today, you will have to start prepaying for your API. So before they would charge you based upon the card that you had on file, but now you actually have to go ahead and prepay. So if for some reason word rocket isn't working and it's not generating your content, it may be because you don't have any credits within your, um, within your open API account. In order to add credits, head over to settings and then billing. And then here is where you're able to buy credits using whichever payment method you have on your account. And you can also enable auto recharge. So it automatically recharge you when your credits are going a little bit lower. So now that everything is set up and I've went ahead and topped up my account, as you can see, the content will now start writing. So again, if you're running into any issues when using Word Rocket, please send me over an email at support at wordrocket.ai. We'd be more than happy to take a look at your account and see what is going on. Okay, so the first article has been generated using GPT-4. As you guys can see, it is pretty good. They have a nice little table here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the content. It is 1800 words, which is really good for the first article. Now we can go ahead and expand that article and we should get a much longer um, in-depth article. So once we go ahead and click expand, the only thing is I want to make sure that we're also keeping that table. So let's make sure that that table has been included. Yes, it has been included, which is really good. Okay, so this is the full article here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the word count. It seems to be pretty long. So it's about 2,500 words, which is really, really good. So now we can go ahead and copy over this article and we're going to head back over to new and writer. And as you can see here, we got a 73, but I believe we did some manual optimizations here. So let's go ahead and we're going to remove this content here and then we're going to paste in our new content and we're at a 70. So that is pretty good. And we didn't really do any uh, manual optimization. We kept the same title and the same uh, meta description, but we didn't optimize any of the H2s. We do have the H1 that was original from the old art article, which definitely helped. But again, um, we didn't actually go ahead and do any manual optimization. So let's quickly go ahead and see if we can increase this score. With some manual optimizations, I was able to increase the content optimization score a little bit. But as you can see here, we were able to write a pretty optimized piece of article pretty quickly using Word Rocket. All we did was we copied over the terms in headers and the terms in articles, and we pasted that into the SEO template for the same topic and we were able to get pretty similar results. So a couple of different ways in which you can use the SEO template, but when you combine it with Nuan Writer, then you're able to include those recommendations right off the bat 
um, when using WordRocket, which allows you to increase the likeness that your content will actually be optimized when you generate it. And also this article was over 2,500 words. So not only are you getting optimized content, you're also getting really long, really in-depth content. And again, within this article, we also have some tables um, which is really, really good for SEO. And it also makes your content just look a lot better. So that is the process in which you can use to combine WordRocket with Nuant Writer. I hope that you guys learned something new and I hope that you can implement this process into your content optimization and your content writing to write more SEO optimized content that will actually rank on Google. If you have any other questions, be sure to reach out to me and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.